Last time, I had made cute little old marks from the Kirby game series. This time he's back. And he's not playing nice. Join me on my process on how I created Kirby's most diabolical antagonist. So, let's get to it. This sculpture is going to be quite big compared to any of the past projects that have been made thus far. As always, having a nice solid foundation is crucial. The foil will also help me to cut down on using so much clay as well. I'll be putting these aside since I'll start with the head first. For my clay, I'll be using Super Sculpey Medium. Now to cover this whole thing with clay and really start defining his head shape. Going to quickly carve out a mouth over here. Moving on to his hat, repeating the same process as before. With the help of some clay adhesive, I can now bond both pieces together. Adding on that big trim along the bottom of his hat. I'll gradually be adding more clay till I get my desired thickness and shape. Now while that is baking, I can move on to the eyes. Time to attach. I actually have to redo the eyes about three times to get the proportions just right. Now to smooth everything over with some wet sanding. Finishing up this head skull by adding his tongue and pointy fangs. <laughs> Moving on now to his big shoes. Once I have the main shoes sculpted, I can trace out the outer soles. Taking off with the little excess here, and voila! Now to finish up with the rest of the details. I'm just guessing at this part, since there isn't really that clear of a reference to look at, at least from what I've seen. And for the final detail, some tiny shoelaces. Alrighty, now for the tricky part. As you can see, it took me a few tries to get the placement. It's all good now, so let's move on. Time now to work on the wings. It's definitely his most defining characteristic. Little did I know, going into this, how daunting making his wings were going to be. Of course, making an exact mirror copy of anything is challenging. Now that it's bent to my desired shape, I will bulk out this armature with more foil. Just gonna remove these for now till I figure out my placement for the wings. 
That looks about right. I'll be switching over to using Translucent Super Sculpey. I'm going with a different clay simply for the color difference and that it's slightly more tacky and softer than the medium furnace I was using prior, which is what I want. With these small strips of clay, I'll be wrapping everything in the thin base layer. After pre-baking, I'll start to flesh out the details more. Adding some more definition to the arms over here, as well as the joints, along with some triangular tips at the ends. He also has these weird growth like things on the very top of his wings. I have no idea why, other than for aesthetic reasons, probably, but the little heart-shaped gems in the middle of them are a very nice touch. Can't forget his long, menacing claws! Well, that's one down. Alright, and then there were two. It's at this point, I need something stronger than polymer clay to connect all these parts together. Using some fresh epoxy scope is going to help support the weight of these wings. Believe me, they're going to get much heavier towards the end, once you have equal parts of A and B mixed thoroughly. A little super glue to hold it all in place. Now that it's completely dry, I have no worries about anything bending or breaking off. Almost forgot about his bow. I was having issues sculpting it, so I ended up doing a bow tie design instead. I had to make them a few times till I got the correct size that I needed. For an added detail, I distressed the ends of the ribbon, just like how it looks in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Marks. Busting out the old silicone mold again, which means it's UV resin time. Marks has a bunch of these colorful connected hexagons under his wings, so I decided this would be the best way to replicate them. This part was fun, since I got to relax a bit and just experiment with mixing uh, different alcohol inks with the UV resin. Now to make many, many Oh so many more in various colors. So what started as one The best way to connect them all was to use these tiny jump rings.
Before I connect them, I'm playing on how I want them arranged. This way, I can see there is a nice balance of colors for both sides. Now for the long and very tedious task of connecting each and every one together. <sighs> Why do I do these things to myself? After I finished connecting them, I had realized I added more hexagons than I really needed. So I'm adding more height to the display stand I had made prior to accommodate the extra length. With all the pieces done and accounted for, only thing left to do now is finally paint. I'm going slightly out of order here and starting on the back pieces first. Now adding some brown to the shoes. While I let that dry, I can work on painting the bow. Using this darker shade of red as my base, then I'll be dusting the top with a bright red. Switching back to the head, I will begin painting the hat, as well as the eyes. For his skin tone, I will be mixing up some magenta and white. I can make his duotone colors first with the blue, and later with red. Base coating the wings with white. This is going to help with the yellow gold color I plan on using for it to stand out a lot better. I really like the bright colors he had from the original Kirby Superstar and Superstar Ultra games, but most of the sculpting is modeled after his appearance in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate adaptation. So I'm just combining my favorite parts that I like into this one piece. Here is one of the two wings that I have done. And then there were two. I had to paint about three to four coats to get this good amount of coverage. Now that all the big and hard stuff is out of the way, I can finally finish the smaller, more fun stuff. Just quickly penciling in some guidelines for the inner part of the eyes. As well as some shine and twinkle for the eyes. Not to put it all together. And that will do it. Here is the final look. I enjoyed making this piece a lot, but half of the time I was quite annoyed while making it. It was honestly my love for this character that helped kept me going to finishing this piece. But what do you think on my take on Marks? Let me know what you think of him down in the comments below. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already for more art related content like this in the future. 
Thank you as always for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.